Listeria infection is caused by the bacterium Listeria monocytogenes. Listeria monocytogenes has been the culprit of some of the deadliest foodborne outbreaks in Canada and the U.S. The World Health Organization estimates that Listeria sickens 23,000 people worldwide, killing 23.6%. Listeria has been on the radar as a potent foodborne pathogen since the late 1970s and has been associated with many serious foodborne illness outbreaks. In 1985, a Californian cheese company, Jalisco Cheese, sold Mexican fresh cheese contaminated with Listeria. 142 people became ill and 52 people died. In 1998, Belmar Foods recalled hot dogs and cold cuts due to Listeria. Over 100 consumers became ill, of which 21 died. Listeria infected 57 Canadians and caused the death of 23 individuals after Maple Leaf Foods recalled low-sodium deli meat in 2008. In 2011, cantaloupes were infected with Listeria, causing 146 infections and 33 deaths among Americans. This is the third deadliest foodborne outbreak in American history. Listeria monocytogenes is naturally present in the soil, water, and gastrointestinal tracts or digestive systems of ruminant animals like sheep, cows, and goats. Listeria monocytogenes gets into the food supply through water runoff from shedding animals to fields, untreated water, unpasteurized milk, soil debris, cross-contamination of raw and ready-to-eat foods, and improperly cooked animal products. According to the CDC, pregnant women are 20 times more likely to contract listeriosis compared to the general population. Pregnant women account for 27% of all listeria infections with symptoms ranging from mild to severe. Within a few hours to a few days or even up to two months, symptoms can appear as flu-like. This includes but is not limited to fever, fatigue, chills, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Listeria infections can turn into listeriosis when the bacteria cross the gastrointestinal tract through lymphatic cells into your digestive system, allowing it to access the blood. Listeria can travel to the brain, liver, spleen, lymph nodes, and placenta for pregnant women. If listeria crosses the placenta, it can have severe repercussions to the pregnancy, inducing preterm labor, miscarriage, stillbirth, or sepsis, meningitis, or death to, of the newborn. Foods often implicated with listeria monocytogenes include unpasteurized milk, soft cheese, cantaloupe, deli meats, refrigerated pate, refrigerated smoked seafood, lettuce, and many more. Listeria can grow at refrigeration temperatures and is only killed by pasteurization and adequate heating, making ready-to-eat foods highly susceptible as vehicles for listeria. Pregnant women should avoid high-risk foods, ensure all meats and fish are cooked to safe temperatures, cook deli meats until steaming hot, wash all fruits and vegetables thoroughly, and clean and sanitize kitchen equipment and food contact surfaces. At signs of a fever, it is important for pregnant women to consult their doctor. A listeria infection can be identified with a blood test and treated with antibiotics. It is important to stay on top of current food recalls through your local government or health agency. In this case, it would be the CFIA. Any recalls will be posted on their Twitter at CFIA underscore food with the hashtag CFIA recall. The recall will also be posted on their website, www.inspection.gc.ca. Listeria can be harmful to both the mother and baby. By avoiding high-risk foods, being aware of current product recalls, and understanding the signs and symptoms, you can keep yourself and your baby safe.